Hello there guys, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. Okay, in the previous tutorial we talked about uh, the keywords private and public and also we talked about inheritance. Today we are gonna talk about something related which is what happens when you have private members and you inherit those. Okay, so I'll explain things in advance and then we will see that in practical example. So basically, if you have public members in a class and you can inherit from that class, these members will still be accessible in the new class. However, private members, when, get, when they get inherited, they are not visible at all. So let's try to do an example here or create a class. Uh, let's see. Oops. Sorry. And uh, first we need right to click and add and we're gonna use a class here. And now we're gonna use an employee class. Employee class. And press enter here. Okay, so this is the employee class and we are gonna inherit from the person class. Wonderful, right? Okay, and then we are gonna say public. Uh, we are gonna say public uh, job title, uh, public string job title, semicolon, and then we are gonna create a constructor, boy class. Okay, now uh, inside the class itself, I'm gonna say base dot. Now check this out. When I say base dot, I am incapable of viewing the private members, which is the person name and uh, person age. Just in case you didn't or you forgot about the the previous class, let me show you the class here. This is a person class. This is a person class. It has a private member, which is person name, and another private member, which is person age. Right, those are private, and uh, when we are trying to access them here, I'm going to say base dot. I cannot, I cannot see them. Right? If I say this dot, I can only see job title. I cannot see those other variables or members. Now let me go back here, and I'm going to change this into public, and change this one also into public. Now if we come here and say base dot, I can see the person age and person name or if I can say this dot I can see a whole three variables so private now uh, to have a better understanding private has the effect of hiding a variable it will not be accessed unless the basic class itself is calling that variable any class that inherits from the basic class cannot see that. Any part of code that is not the basic class cannot see that member variable. Same is true for methods and functions. Okay, if a function or a method is private and you inherit from the class, you will not be able to see or call that method directly. Okay. Now, the problem is, well, what if I want something that uh, that is private and I can access it in the inherited class? If I'm not mistaken, C Sharp should support a statement called protected. Protected. Oh, there you go. We have this here. Protected. We didn't speak about this, but the idea is protected is like, to my understanding, protected is like a private in other words, any code outside the class cannot access the member. However, if you inherit a protected property or method, you will be able to access it from uh, the classes that inherit. So in this case, I change this one into protected, right? So I'm going to say this dot. You can see that I can access the person name and person age. No problem there, right? But if I go to the uh, main program here, and I am going to say p dot, 
I cannot access the members. So the members, if they are protected, they behave like a private for the outside programs and uh, code. However, they behave like public uh, if they get inherited uh, to the, uh, you know, uh, inheriting class only, of course. Okay, so all in all, the protection level, when you are using classes, you have three protection levels. You have public, you have private and protected. So this is going to be public, okay, and one that is private, and the protected, and just test, okay. So we have public, private, and the protected. So here this code is going to use the object right away so if you say dot you can see the person name which is public is accessible however the person age was, uh, which is a private is not accessible and the test field which is a protected cannot be accessed uh, let's go back here okay this is public right we were able to see that in the main program method and this is private we, we couldn't see this at all and this is protected, we couldn't see it as well. Now, uh, make sure you remember this one, this is public, right? This is private, and this is protected. Okay, now, if we inherit, we inherited uh, from the person class here, and we are going to try to access the members. So this dot, you can see we, uh, the uh, person name here. Uh, wait a second base dot you can see this is uh, the test member which is protected and this is the public member right okay or I could use this keyword and I have job title person name and test and the person age is not visible because it is a private okay yeah. So, the, I won't write any code today, sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted you to know that there are these three levels of protection. Uh, later in later pro uh, tutorials, we are going to see how we can use these uh, in order to create our own libraries and make other people use them. Okay? Uh, before that, we might also have a look at... Uh, how Microsoft uh, uses the uh, uh, sorry uh, how the OneForms framework is being uh, used and uh, we're going to see how these uh, these members are are being uh, sorry these keywords are being used to help you build your own program based on the framework. Okay. Uh, sorry if you get disappointed with this tutorial, there is not much of work and activity, but the next one will be more interesting. We will speak about interfaces. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.